waiting for this day. Wow, it's a blessing. I feel like it's a light. It's a light to others. Standing as a beacon in the Bay Area, the Oakland, California Temple is rededicated after more than a year of renovation and refreshing. What is here is a remarkable house of the Lord. It just spoke to my heart, and I felt like I was home. Members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints have worshipped here for more than 50 years. Now that the renovation and public open house are over, this building is ready once again to fill that sacred purpose. Just remember this, the gospel is true. It's the way to happiness. And that's the pathway. President Dallin H. Oaks of the First Presidency of the Church presided over the dedication, joined by his wife, Kristen. I've been to many temples, many dedications but I felt so drawn to return here. Also attending the dedication, Elder David A. Bednar of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles and his wife Susan. For Elder Bednar, being here is especially meaningful. I was born in Oakland. I was reared in San Leandro. I was a 12-year-old boy and attended the dedication in 1964 when President David O. McKay presided. To be this close and think back more than 50 years to that uh, experience in my youth, it's kind of surreal. As part of the weekend's festivities, young men and women from across the Bay Area joined for a special devotional. Celebrating the rededication of the temple and learning more about the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's such an honor to serve the Lord and you'll find great joy and revelation as you spend time in the Oakland Temple. Visible for miles around, the Oakland, California Temple is a landmark and gathering place for people of all faiths. Now rededicated, it will continue to be that.